welcome to my channel today we are going to learn automation anywhere a360 uh, like uh, rpa development life cycle and discovery bot concept in automation anywhere a360 so we are going to discuss what is rpa development life cycle what are the different phases available in automate rpa de development life cycle and also we are going to learn the relationship between uh, development life cycle and discovery bot and what are all the different phases available in discovery bot and how we can utilize the discovery bot concept in real time scenarios what are all the main major advantages in discovery bot so we are going to learn each and every concept with the help of a real time example so let's get started so before we move into the our agenda so one quick update so like uh, along with the rpa automation anywhere a360 advanced concept and real time scenarios i am also uploading series of videos on excel macros that is microsoft visual basic for applications and vb scripts so these are all the important things to learn uh, as a rpa developer these are all important things to learn to enhance our skills or to solve the critical uh, uh, issue uh, you know uh, challenging issues like uh, huge volumes of excel data or uh, uh, browser or IE automation uh, issues like uh, cross domain applications, iframe tag applications. Let's suppose few applications we cannot automate by using capture command or object learning. Such kind of scenarios we can use uh, Python scripts or uh, you know uh, Excel macros like Microsoft Visual Basic applications to solve the critical issues. And also we can also reduce the licensing cost of RPA tools. It is very important to learn scripts, languages, other RPA tools and technologies as a RPA developer. So along with the Microsoft Visual Basic for application and VB scripts, I'm also upload series of videos on Microsoft Power Automate cloud and desktop uh, for RPA. And also we are also, uh, we are also going to learn Microsoft Power Platforms. So mainly it includes like Power Automate, Power Apps, Power BI, Power Virtual Agents. Power Virtual Agent is nothing but chatbot concepts. So we can, develop our own custom powerful chatbots also we can also learn power bi to visualize the data bot insights and we can also develop our own custom apps and applications by using microsoft power apps i'm going to upload series of videos from beginner level to advanced level for all microsoft power platforms and also we are going to learn artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms like predicting the data analytics analyze the data and all. Also, I'm going to upload series of videos on Python from basic level to advanced level. It includes uh, you know, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and uh, data visualization, web automation, files and folder automation, Outlook automation, email automation, everything we are going to cover each and every concept with the help of a real-time example. So please subscribe and don't forget to click on bell icon. That's why you'll be notified every time when I upload a new series of series of videos or you know advanced concepts and real-time processes. Okay, so let's get started. So today we are going to focus on RPA development lifecycle and discovery bot. So let's see. So let me uh, go to RPA Automation Anywhere A360 control room. Now we are in Automation Anywhere A360 homepage. So in Automation Anywhere A360 homepage, we can see different options to automate the processes and to uh, know represent the data and graphical representation and to get the approvals from the different clients and users and we can also you know automate or convert the unstructured or pdf scan copies into structured one and also we can also analyze the data and we can also predict and analyze the data and we can also uh, you know create a, a pdd document that is a, a process definition document uh, uh, by using uh, all these features. So let's discuss each and every feature in detail in the upcoming session. And today we are going to focus on discovery bot. So discovery bot. So what is discovery bot and what is the main advantage of discovery bot? So by using the discovery bot, we can you know cover most of the software development lifecycle phases like uh, you know um, finding new opportunities for uh, you know automation process 
and requirement gathering phase, designing phase, and development phase. These all phases we can cover in our discovery board phase. So first of all, we'll see what is software development life cycle or RPA development life cycle. So what are all the phases available in RPA development life cycle? So in RPA development life cycle, we have different phases like discovery phase, requirement gathering phase, process design document phase, and development phase. Finally, we are going to test and migrate the code and we declare as a go live. These are all the different phases available in RPA development life cycle. Uh, so uh, discovery phase and requirement gathering phase mainly uh, handled by uh, business analyst. So business analyst is going to interact with the customer and technology team. He is going to gather the all the requirements cli from client or SME subject matter expert or end user, and he is going to prepare a solution document and he is going to include exception conditions rules in the process definition document and he is going to provide the process definition document to development developer for a process development so let's see one by one so first of all our uh, discovery phase so in the discovery phase a uh, business analyst is going to find the process for automation so every sme or business or client has their own processes so few processes may take a huge number of uh, uh records volumes or time it will take uh days or uh, time hours time minutes time so if the process is repetitive structured and rule based yes that process is suitable for rpa automation process so in the discovery phase business analyst is going to anal analyze whether the process is structured rule based and repetitive so then he is trying to automate the, that process so once the discovery phase if we identify any process then he is going to involve in requirement gathering phase in the requirement gathering phase sme is going to discuss with the business analyst in detail about the process flow like what are all the applications involved how to process from start to end and how many validations are there and and also he need to analyze like a estimated volumes of items per day and uh, the average processing time for the item and what application does process work with, uh, how stable are those up systems or how stable are the applications. So these are all the things business analyst is going to uh, analyze. So once, he, once uh, the process has been explained in detail, business analyst uh, is going to analyze whether the process can be automated or not. So if the process can be automated, then we are going to move design phase. So in the design phase, mainly a uh, business analyst is going to prepare process definition document or business. Sometimes business may provide the process definition document uh, like as is flow. So whatever the process they are following, they are going to create a document uh, with the help of screenshot or description and they are going to provide to business analyst. So business analyst is going to enhance the process definition document with the exceptions, condition, rule phase, which is suitable for development phase. Then he's going to prepare the so process definition document. Mainly uh, the process def definition document contains the process flow and sequence of steps along with the screenshots and description so which we can easily understand the process end to end steps and what are all the um, uh, applications involved what are all the validation checks how critical is this so everything we can identify and we can analyze by using process definition documents once the process definition document or design phase is completed then we are going to move to the development phase so here the developer is going to involve and based on the process requirement document is going to start development. So uh, developer can develop the process uh, using different tools like automation anyway, Ray360, Blue Prism, UiPath, Microsoft Power Automate Cloud, Power Automate Desktop, Python, Microsoft Visual Basics, you no, know, to implement the bots. So you can choose any one of the RPA tool to implement the bots. Let's suppose if the developer is having any issues or queries, he can schedule a call with business analyst 
So please interact uh, in between our customer and technology. He can directly schedule a call with the business analyst or he can also check with uh, a customer team like SME or end user and client. So once he and get the, all the requirement doc, documents and detailed information he is going to implement the bot so uh, he is going to implement each and every process steps and he is going to prepare his own test case document in the development phase itself he is going to split the entire process into module based on the project criticality he can split the process into module or else he can develop end-to-end -end process in the single module that is depends on the project criticality and volumes so once he developed the process he is going to test you know unit testing end to end testing vat testing fraud parallel testing and then finally we declare as go live so once the testing is completed uh, each and every phase he is going to migrate the code from lower environment to upper environment we have or different phases like development phase, UAT phase, fraud phase. So every developer should uh, start the development in dev, dev, dev environment and then unit testing. Like uh, in UAT environment, he is going to test few scenarios and few validation checks with the dummy data. So if everything is working as expected, the process then we will we, we are going to request a uh, sign off from the end user or business once we receive the sign off then we are going to migrate the code to production so this is the high level rpa development life cycle so now we will come to discovery bot phase so the discovery bot so discovery bot we, by using discovery bot what we can do we can uh, Im implement requirement gathering design development phase without uh, you know without uh, any uh, sme or business analyst or developer help so ourselves we can develop all these three phases without uh, any uh, uh, developers or uh, business analyst and uh, sme help so uh, uh, discovery bot uses artificial intelligence to discover the process to automate and then it will prioritize what to automate based on ROI and uh, FTA benefits. So, and it will auto creates the bots to automate. So, these are all the uh, different phases available in um, requirement gathering phase. So, by sorry, uh, in uh, discovery bot. So, by using discovery bot, we can cover all four main phases of rpa development life cycle so without any user intervention like sme or business analyst or developer so we can develop our own custom code uh, the help of discovery bot so i hope you are clear with uh, uh, what is rpa development life cycle and uh, discovery bot in a high level so that's all for today guys i hope you like this video please subscribe and don't for forget to click on bell icon that's why you'll be notified whenever i upload a new series of videos on different tools and technologies so in the upcoming session we are going to learn about discovery bot with the help of a real-time example thank you